The president's rule has been withdrawn in Jammu and Kashmir, clearing the way for the formation of a new government in the Union territory, according to an official order. This comes after National Conference leader Omar Abdullah met with Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha to stake the claim to form a new government following the recently concluded assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir. Remember viewers, President's rule was imposed in the region after the PDP-BJP alliance crumbled on June 19th in the year 2019. And just after the conclusion of the recently held assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir, in fact, the NC in alliance with the Congress has emerged victorious where in fact now the formation of new government is set to happen while the letter of support from congress is awaited but at the same time the nc has emerged as a majority party with a larger share of votes in jammu and kashmir and the way for a new government is now awaited All right, viewers, now as we are trying to get my colleague Ajay Jandial on the broadcast, now the president's rule, in fact, is withdrawn. Now the formation of the new government is set to happen. All right, my colleague Ajay joins me on the broadcast. Ajay, good morning to you. Now, as per the official order, the president's rule in the Union Territory has been withdrawn. And in the exercise of the powers which are conferred by the Section 73 of Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act dated 2019. Now, uh, in fact, in relation to the Union Territory, uh, it has been also ordered that uh, the President rule stand revoked immediately before the appointment of the new Chief Minister under the Section 54 of the Jammu and Kashmir. What is the latest that you are in fact tracking and when exactly is the new government set to form? Well, uh, late uh, last uh, late, uh, uh, evening, this order has been issued by the uh, Minister of Homa and uh, definitely it's, uh, uh, it's a sign that uh, in the next few uh, day or two, uh, the, the government formation will take place. And as only uh, Omar Abdullah, uh, with his all uh, supporters, uh, support letters which he got from the Congress and the other independents, uh, that uh, letter has been handed over to the left governor Manoj Sina, and um, uh, he, also, he also revealed that uh, this letter uh, as Jammu and Kashmir is a union right so this letter has to go uh, to the Rajpati Bhavan and then to uh, the, uh, the Home Ministry. And then uh, they will uh, finalize the date. But uh, expected date is 16 or 17 is the ex expected date when Omar Abdullah will um, be able to uh, take oath as a chief minister of the Jammu and Kashmir and uh, with his uh, uh, other cabinet minister. But uh, this uh, letter in which uh, this, that has been, uh, you know, in, uh, announced that, uh, 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 you know, President Rule has been uh, revoked from the Jammu and Kashmir with immediate uh, effect after the chief minister will take oath, uh, that that indicates that uh, this is going to uh, be the there, uh, there is going to be the democratic setup like uh, uh, popular government will be here in the Jammu Kashmir which will rule and definitely ensure uh, the development of, of the Jammu Kashmir for next five years. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.